The new California Academy of Sciences building in Golden Gate Park is only months away from completion. This is your personal sneak preview of the marvels awaiting visitors inside this incredible building. I'm standing at the entrance to the new California Academy of Sciences, and you'll notice we've actually combined a little bit of the old with the new. We managed to save the original facade of African Hall, and behind me is the entryway, which is all made of glass, which is a major design feature for the architect. His intent is to make the people in the building be reconnected with the park by having a direct sight line to the nature outside the building. That's one of many innovative features that are incorporated into the design, and I'll point out more as we go through the building. So uh, anyone who has visited the old academy is gonna recognize this hall. This is Africa Hall, and what we did was we actually uh, recreated it and took castings of the original ceiling and all the major elements in the hall. But we're gonna add some new elements in Africa Hall, most notably at the end, African penguins, uh, live South African penguins, and it's gonna be a great space that people are gonna love. This is the new planetarium, and it's gonna be a state-of-the-art new digital planetarium. So if you remember the old planetarium, this is very, very different. The old planetarium was flat. Now it's gonna be more amphitheater style seating and everybody's facing the same direction, looking at the same thing. Anybody who's been to the Academy recognizes these pillars as the entryway to the Steinhardt Aquarium. The reality is we've actually had to recreate them. Just beyond those pillars is the swamp. And we've also recreated the swamp as well, but we'll have something new too. You can go downstairs and look at the alligators from underwater as well. Right now our, we're high above the ground in the middle of the building, in the middle of a structure that is floating above the central courtyard. This structure has glass on the top and it will also have an opening in the middle to let in the natural air. But we'll also have retractable rain shades that can be drawn over and protect the space in the winter. So we can be using this area year round. Right now I'm standing in the Rainforest of the World exhibit. This is a 90 foot diameter glass sphere in the middle of the building. When you come in, you'll come in on the ground floor into this open area with the trees and you'll feel the hot humidity and the temperature of what it's like actually to be in a rainforest. And basically we have a gallery that focuses on what you would find in the understory of a rainforest, but specifically in Borneo. Then you'll take a ramp, wind your way up to the second level, coming out among the trees. Then you wind up the ramp again and get out to the top where on the top level, you'll be experiencing the canopy of a rainforest. There we'll have free flight birds and butterflies. Then you step into an elevator and it has glass on one side. You start to slowly descend down, but instead of stopping at the first floor where you started, you actually go underwater. You step out of the elevator and that delivers you into the rest of the aquarium in the basement. This tunnel that I'm walking through right now is actually a continuation of the rainforest. It's an acrylic tunnel that's part of an aquarium tank where you can get face to face with arapaima, arowana, and paku, animals that live in the Amazon River. This tunnel is also a passageway that will take you into the aquarium in the lower part of the academy. And behind me is the water planet. Water planet will feature what the academy is famous for, all of the small tanks that have unusual and unique fish in them. But instead of being the typical rectangular tank where you're looking into a window, what the designers have done is come up with a wall that represents an abstract wave. And that where those waves part, we can look into the tank and see the animals inside that. Right over here is the coral reef tank. It's a Philippine coral reef tank. It'll be one of the largest coral reef tanks ever built. We'll have all living corals that have been captively grown and we'll have over 4,000 fish. The salt water that we use in the aquarium actually comes from Ocean Beach. We pump it two and a half miles up to the academy where we then treat it, heat it, and distribute it throughout the building to support the tanks that you see on the public floor. The most amazing thing is the new aquarium will have twice the volume of water, but will actually use less because of the efficiencies that we built in with the new pumps and filtration systems. Believe it or not, this field and the hills behind me are actually the roof of the California Academy of Sciences. This living roof 
is over two and a half acres planted with native species plants like beech strawberry. By having a living roof, it acts as a natural insulator for the building and it prevents over two million gallons of water from going into the storm drain every year. That water is absorbed into the roof and keeps the plants alive. When the new California Academy of Sciences opens in the fall of 2008, I can tell you that visitors will be amazed by this visionary building and the incredible exhibits it will contain.